Okay, we're gonna do a little vlog. A little shot promo. Come check it out. Come on into my dungeon. So here it is. We got a fat triple triple filtered beeswax slabs. Check these bad boys out. Whoa. So what we have to do is we have to smack it with the hammer when the beeswax is cold and that's how you break it. Ready? One, two. All right, so now they're going to dry and do their thing. Hopefully this one dries properly. That makes it kind of weird. Um, now we play the waiting game. It's tomorrow. Well, it's today, but it's also tomorrow for you guys. The wax is done, and it you got you gotta give it some time to shrink. Plus, it's super cold, so I leave it outside. It makes it really easy to take the candles out of the mold when it's cold. It's not as sticky. As you can see, they came out. Pretty flat, just some minor imperfections as to be expected when you're hand pouring candles. So what I do is I give them a light tap, just a little bada bing, bada boom. The candle slips out, I hope it didn't break the tip. No, the tip looks good. Uh, so I don't know if you can see closely, but see the little, little the, I forgot what it's called. Oh, man, there's a word for it. Uh, the sugars in the honey crystallize on the top and that's how you can tell if you're getting real beeswax obviously there's dye in here so it's not pure beeswax it's compared to like you know the white beeswax candles here which are just sun bleached by the way that's how they get the beeswax white um but they they crystallize on the surface and um there's nothing you can really do about that you can wipe it off and polish them up and make them look pretty but in about five days from now, they'll just recrystallize and you'll see this white haze start to form again um, on the top. That's how you know you got the good stuff. In case you guys are wondering how to tell fake beeswax. Because a lot of times they'll take beeswax and uh, mix it with soy. I mean, I mix beeswax with soy when I do my ritual candles because they hold up better. Um, but yeah, that's how you can always tell uh, pure beeswax from not... These are pure beeswax. My ritual candles, if you guys have ever gotten those, are a, are a blend of like 10 to 15% soy wax mixed with um, beeswax. And I like to do that. I don't know. I feel like the burning is a little... It does Like these, these um, beeswax candles burn bright, man. They burn hot and they burn... They give off a lot of light. And I don't want the ritual candles to get too crazy because there's like essential oils and it's already going to be burning super hot. So with the ritual candles, I, um, yeah, I mix with just a little bit of soy, but let's get the rest of these out of here, huh?
Alright, you guys, well, that concludes our little compore candles with Shaboy. Be sure to check out the Etsy shop and um, get some candles. We have, we have black candles, which seem to be the highest sellers. We have sun bleached white beeswax, and of course, the old classic orange beeswax. They smell like honey. All of them smell like honey. Uh, they, when they burn, it's a light, sweet smell of honey in the room. And, uh, Thank you, bird. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. See you guys in the next video. All right.